Yo, what is up, guys? We're gonna be trying something a little bit different for going second. I'm bringing Blue <laughs> Elizabeth to heal up King whenever she dies. So the play is, hopefully we don't get AoE spammed, and uh, if we go second, if they have any AoE spamming, like Bon or whatever, hopefully Eliz just, Elizabeth just dies here. Instead of bringing the other unit, what's his face, uh, Henderson, I want to bring Liz because Liz is going to heal my allies, so I feel like that would have more value. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll go ahead and get into this. I did let myself drop all the way to champion 5, so let's go ahead and try to grind back up some. Well, luckily, they have two sets of AoEs here, um, so if they use any AoE at all, we're looking good. Uh, what does she do? She removed steep buffs from allies. I mean, if we're going against a Keo team, that could be kind of useless. Or useful, right? Is the evasion? Oh, he was just going for it, huh? He just doesn't care. Interesting. Um, well, since that's there, we can all rush. And there's not much they can do about it. If this is a bot, then it, it was to be expected, to be honest. So, I think the best way to all rush would be to go for both my ults, right? Would be like this. And then, I'm going to use Sever. That way I get double ult here. They're both 1-1, one, one, so the ultimate damage might not be that crazy, but we'll see what happens, right? Uh, if this was like a 6-6 six, six Deanne, or oh, not even like, I think it was like 5-6 King and like maybe a 4 or 5-6 Deanne, but it would be a lot better, but we'll have to just use the 1-6 ults to see what happens. Because Deanne is very squishy. Like, look at the damage she took with the shield up, mind you. Uh, that's pretty good damage for us, so I guess what we can do is go like this. I'm gonna go ahead and use... You first. Actually, let's, let's do this. Let's just use the ultimate right away. Deanne's, and then the sever. Yeah. Because this is gonna make it to where Melee has no buffs this way. That way, this, the... I mean, the... Power Strike, my, my bad, will be a lot more effective. Just as I expected. Team Wipe. Nope. <laughs> no one lives. Oh no. Watch him kill us because of that. Did he get his ult off of that? He did. Oh, do we lose? No, there's no way we lose. We have a thick shield. There's no way he's breaking that. That could have been bad though. Uh, plus the 40% damage reduction. I don't think he's breaking it. Not even the one at 6-6 six, six to break this. Oh, he does break it, but that's all he's doing is breaking the shield. Okay. Well, if we had higher ults, that would have never happened, but... Now you, can, now you can see kind of the flaws of this strategy. Like this, I guess. We'll, uh... Power strike it, and then, honestly, they're all rushing, so... I'm gonna throw the pumpkin bombs. That way, next turn, I can merge into a level 2... Uh, I forget the name of that card. The end single target card. It's called Crazy Rush. Oh, I guess we just fuse into it naturally. Could just go with level threes. Probably not necessary. Those all rush again. So we'll like this. One. Let's go with that. Guarantee the kill, and then this. My one pet peeve with Deanne is that she's supposed to tank, but she's not very tanky. I feel like if she was just tankier, I'd like her a lot more, but like she takes so much damage. But that's because of her passive too, so... I just don't know. I like her, but I don't like her. She's a very inconsistent festival. It, that's, I think that's my main, main flaw with her, is she's inconsistent. Especially at 1-6. Maybe if she was 6-6 six, six and like fully like... cracked, she'd be a lot better. We'll go like this. And then hopefully Deanne can just end this guy. Okay. It took a lot longer than it should have because how broken Bon is. Alright, what do we got here? Um Oh, uh, well. They have ceiling for level two, so I gotta get her to go there. Uh they also have at least some AoEs. Uh we'll see what happens. If he uses any melee AoEs, we're gonna be looking kind of awkward. Does she get dodged, actually? Because of that, yeah. It's another bot game? What the hell? 
or something. I don't even know what happened. I'm not even sure what's happening. So let's go ahead and start this up, I guess. Uh, let's go with the... It's gonna be a little backwards, but it's fine. Sever. Power Strike. Rush his ultimate, I guess. Okay, that should be pretty unbreakable. Well, we didn't do that much damage. It should be pretty okay, though. I don't think he's gonna... I don't think King will die. That's fine. We can ult rush on the end now, I guess. I guess against bots this is very good because they always target Wiz, but like if you're playing an actual player, I, I don't imagine they'd be that stupid. Uh, okay, so we'll remove his buffs. This, I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with one of... Actually, we tanked it last time, so... Let's just get rid of them. We tanked it last time, right? So. I'm hoping that we get rid of Meliodas with this. Come on, Deanne. He's got like no buffs. Still can't kill him. Ugh. Well, we got her ultimate now. I mean, he definitely dies this time around, right? That's fine, the only thing we're losing is that. Uh, this won't even get near breaking it. At least, like, Deanna and King, when you ult, they have, like, a... I was gonna say Immortal Shield, but as you see, we just, it just got really busted off. Never mind, not Immortal Shield. We'll go ahead and hit him with the... this, this, and then... This. We know definitely that Meliodas is dead. I don't know about Escanor. Okay, Escanor's dead too, and then... Crazy Rush it. It's tempting to go for another 600 diamonds on this banner, but at the same time, it's like, I'd rather wait to see what's next before I even go any further on that banner, since I just broke 2,000 again. Uh, that's another bond, so we'll probably just skip to the next match so you don't have to watch me once again fight a bond for 20 minutes. Alright, what do we got? Ooh, this will be good for us if he attacks first. Um, because you, ca you can't use King. Et essentially, he cannot use King, so King can just be a free target for us. Uh, he could single target us, which is probably what he's gonna do, but I don't think King will die from the single targets alone. Oh, wait, they don't even care. Uh, this is another bot. Or did he just do that thing new? Either way, it's fine. We'll go like this. Um, Sever first, Power Spike second. Eh, not the craziest damage. I need to get some weapons on King so he can actually be more consistent. And I really hope they kill my Liz this turn because... Uh, this hand sucks. It's fine. Didn't kill my Pianchio at least, so she should be hopefully... Oh my goodness, she's a little HP. Thankfully we get to heal off of that. Nice. I think what we should do here is... Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go... This... This and this. I want to make sure the king... Alright, we kill the one here. Okay, there we go. That way the shield's slightly thicker. Okay, good damage, and then we should just end the one here. The only reason I'm getting rid of the one is because like he's the only scary like he's really threatening the DN, and we are removing the one's buffs, so our uh, Millie's buffs, so it just it just made the most sense to get rid of him. Can go with a level three sever this time. Um, yeah, we'll just shield back up. 
Okay, they don't get a shield at least. Unless they do. It's not gonna be that hard to break, okay. Five six ultimate, huh? I guess we have to try to tank it. Okay, there we go. That's not the craziest shield, but with the damage reduction, we should be okay. That's one less attack we have to worry about. He's gonna definitely ult here. I was just hoping it doesn't break uh, or kill anything. Okay, it didn't do as much as I, I thought it was going to. Okay, it didn't like do at all anything actually. That's fine. What I'm gonna do actually is move the ants card, use you, and then hit you with this. I'm gonna go for the ants ultimate and hopefully kill Melly here at least once. Here, there's a revive. Nice. We're gonna have to rank up probably that we get a level 3 spinning hammer. Okay, we're, the, we're holding in there. Our, our RNG for card drawing is not the best. Oh, I'm worried about my king. Got Gogur still, at least. How do we win this? It's really like that, right? This should kill King, right? Am I crazy? Oh yeah, we won. Okay, good. Whew! I thought we are going to lose. I'm not gonna lie, I actually thought we are going to lose. We have no cards though, so we'll just have to <laughs> merge and rush all. It's fine. Alright, we're going against a... I don't know what this is. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, uh, Tarmules make it... I, I understand the process. It's to make it's to make King Card to kill. I guess this is Budget D'Ange. But he's got to dissolve. But so I don't know what this is. Um, that's fine. If he kills my Elizabeth, that's, I'm, I'm cool with it. Uh, budget DN, I guess. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get this party started. Uh, Sever first, Power Strike second. I swear, if you were to ask me which one looked like Sever, I, the other one looks a little like a Sever card, and the, and the one I just used, looked like, it looks like the cards being reversed. When I think it's Sever, I don't know, I think of all those little, like, uh, flying knives, right? And then when I think of Power Strike, I just think of one big hit. It's, it's just the cards look like they're, like, turned around for whatever reason. I didn't get a freaking king card, unfortunately. Uh, it looks like we could now, thankfully. We got a whole new hand. Nice. So what we can do here is... I'm gonna go like this. Actually, let's get the damage increase first. No, we'll go like that, this, and then... I guess sever. I want to make sure we kill King. His Tarmiel's thing's down, so if we can just break this off fast. Hopefully this kills King. Oh, that's not killing, huh? Unless this does, because of the power increase. No, but he won't be able to get a shield up, and we have the end's ultimate now, so I think we're good to go. I don't think he can break it either, even if we were to go spamming Tarmiel's thing into it. Okay, that doesn't go through. Yeah. Does not break it, thankfully. Well, he did, but it's fine. I guess we can go like this. We'll just have Dian do it herself. This should break, probably, and potentially kill King. There we go, the shields are down. And then we just ult. There you go. 
king is gone. Now we have the one to deal with. I probably should throw out a pumpkin bomb mixed base. I'll probably go with a uh, sever double pumpkin bomb and then something else. I got attack sealed. Unfortunate. It's fine though, because we can just spam pumpkin bombs out. So I think what we can do is... Gonna throw a bunch of pumpkin bombs out. That way you can't rush the ult on anyone. Nice. As long as it doesn't seal me again, we're good. We have a king card again. Uh, this could hurt a little bit, but we have damage reduction, so I don't think it'll hurt too bad. Another attack seal. It's gonna be annoying, isn't it? Being attack sealed nonstop. Okay, what we can try to do is rush an ultimate. Get those out. Make sure that can't get another ultimate. Okay, we do have a, another stance at least, so we can try to go for King's ultimate before he gets his ultimate. He's going for the kill on the end, it looks like. Ooh, he might be able to pull it off. He's not attack sealing me though, so that's fine. She lives. That's, that's, that's cool. Go like that, I guess. Can't stop me from getting King Alt. Can he kill the end with just... Well, he just used two big cards, so he'd have to have two more. Uh, it wouldn't take much to kill. Okay, we're good. I guess what we'll do is... like that, right? I think that's the best option, is just to go maximum power strike. Because it's gonna give us the damage increase and the shield. And then hopefully the power strike does big damage. Carmiel just died, I heard him. And that's that. Ceiling! Definitely annoying and can hurt this team. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this again. Um, 289 CC. Definitely have enough for invasion food. Nice, we did get a level 2 power strike though. That's huge. Uh, they have to either <laughs> single target someone down or <laughs> skip their turn because I guess they could go for a level 3 and hope for the best. If they kill Liz, here we cleanse. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna test for their evasion food, because I don't think they have... I think they have... I think they have evasion food. The, the CC's not that high. Yeah, I called it. I'm glad I did that first, the test for it, because I thought they did. Something felt wrong, so I went for the, uh, the play that was safest. There we go. Unfortunately, I don't have a 40% reduction up, so that's a little stressful, but it's fine. We can get uh, we can get a level two next turn, and we can also get a level two crazy rush off. So we can pretty much rush two ultimates here at the same time. And since they have king, if they spam AOEs, they kill Liz. So they're gonna have to really pick and choose how they fight this. This is a tough comp to fight in as a uh, if you go first, because like if you have AOEs like King or Bond, it's just like how do you how do you you know pull this off? He does know that he kills, um, my whole team. Well, I guess that's a problem. Bond team. Alright, we'll do one more of the Bond team, I guess. 283, he has HP food on. Okay. That's an HP food bond, I think. Um, I kind of hope Liz dies fast because we have a bad hand to have those cards. That's the evasion food. 
almost figured like maybe evasion food is probably not the way to go with this, but I want to because I could just spam you dead otherwise. Uh, I guess what we can do is see if we can actually get this going. What does her purple card do? 149. Not very impressive damage. Uh, what does he do? Uh, disable debuff skills. They don't really, I guess, they don't really have any debuff skills, so that's kind of pointless. Just a, I'm just gonna rush ultimate on. King. And then... Something like that, I guess. Because it doesn't matter if they attack me, they'll kill, they'll, they'll kill, uh... Liz, so... And this way we can remove his stupid buffs. So we go like this. Didn't even kill Easton, huh? Bond got his ult instead, that's unlucky. I think we're fine though, because we hit him with a big ult. If Liz dies, it's fine. I've been wanting her to die for a second now. Nope, not dead yet. She's dealing with how the shield does, so she should die now, which is like our whole hand should be free at least. Let's go. Easton's got her ultimate. I'm not really concerned about Easton's ult though. I'm not actually concerned with either of you at all. Um, we have Deanne ultimate too, so we'll go ahead and pop. I'm gonna go ahead and go Sever. Ultimate. Power Strike. I feel like that should kill, right? This should kill, like, at least Easton. Not even Easton died, huh? One HP in a dream. Oh, I don't think we're in danger. We have a pretty thick shield. Get this back on. Now with Gilder on the field, too, we can start stacking up and actually damage. Didn't break the shield, at least. That means I don't think Easton will break it. Hers is an AoE spike, so if she doesn't create it, it won't do much. That's fine. I wouldn't mind me damaging my Deanne a little bit. No? Okay. I guess what we can try to do is throw this out. Uh, his taunt's down, so we'll go like this, and then we're gonna prevent him from all rushing. Well, I guess we technically did. It's fine. We'll just get rid of the other's cards. 1 HP on Easton. It's a lot tankier than I remembered, but it's probably because of the, uh, Arthur. That's a defensive related stat buff as well. We get to remove it at least. Okay, now this time Easton should die. I'm gonna go ahead and go with... This and this. The fact that Kigi's struggling so much to kill red units is kind of like, damn. Alright, Easton finally died. <laughs> Holy crap. I, I know King is like good against Bond, but like, is he though? Like, it takes forever to kill still. Like, what the hell? Bond is so resilient. I'm gonna go for Deanne's ultimate. Patience on go there. Law. We go so good though, yeah. Okay, we'll go like this. And then we'll start smashing away. It's you! This should kill. Once Bond is dead, the game's over. So yeah, I think Bond is dead at least. But he's at Twiggle ultimate, doesn't he? Well, now we have ultimate on... 
Deanna again. So we have to kill Arthur or we're in trouble. Oh my god, the hell treatment again. This struggles is real, boy. This struggles are real. She still got her taunt up at least. I'm gonna go like that and then hope this this should kill Bond. There's no way Bond lives this, right? She's, uh, she's getting I'm getting another power strike and king. Yeah, we okay, we win. That took a lot longer than it should have. If they had Terry, I'm sure that it would have probably been better for them, but it is what it is. Long matches. 229,000. Uh, it's a bit better, but like it took forever to stack that. I guess that's it, boys. Uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Um, honest opinion on the King Deanne Goddess, or not, uh, King Deanne Blue Liz team. It's. It's okay. I don't think it's by any means bad. I think if you have high ultimate levels on your characters and they have gear and stuff and they're actually having decent, like, if, and, and they're decently built out, it could be a very competitive team or a very useful team for going second. But, like, if you go against a smart player, they just kind of kill your DN with single targets and then the king just, just dies, right? But I don't think the team's bad. It's definitely one of the better teams that I ran with best king and DN on it. It's like best king and Dean. King teams are just so very wonky, so this one isn't, like, the worst. I think it's usable. I think if you want to try to climb the ranks with it in the lower brackets, I think it's very doable, especially since bots exist, so... Yeah, that's gonna be it, guys. Uh, yeah, the team's okay.